Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. And today, guys, I wanted to talk about Lionsgate. Uh, I saw something interesting on Twitter, courtesy of Bill Hunt and the Digital Bits. So he put up a poll on his Patreon, which I believe is accessible accessible to everybody, regardless of you're a Patreon member or not, where you can vote on the style of Lionsgate Steelbook that you would like to see them do next of the movies that they've already done, which I found to be interesting. So there's a lot I want to dig into here. There's a lot that I, a lot of questions I want to ask. I'm not necessarily saying whether or not this is a good or a bad thing. I think you guys can always make up your own mind, but I am asking for feedback um, in the comment section below. After I get done talking about this, guys, and you watch the video, let me know what you think about this whole situation and story. But I thought this was interesting and, and definitely worth making a video about. And I'm just at the point, guys, where I, if something I, I think is interesting and I feel like I have something to say about it, I want to make a video on it and gauge your all's opinion because I find your all's opinions um, and the variety of them and all the different types because I'm very fortunate to have an audience that, that watches my videos and responds and engages and I just want to know what you guys are thinking. So look, before we get into it, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Most importantly, if you're just now discovering me here on the Mid-Level Media channel, we talk about physical media all day long, every single day. So if you like that kind of stuff, hit the subscribe button. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into it. So I am on the Digital Bits Patreon right now, which I will link the Digital Bits down below, guys. You can go check out their website. Uh, Bill Hunt is definitely one of the most knowledgeable people around when it comes to physical media, and he breaks a lot of news stories. He's the one that broke the Best Buy getting out of the physical media story last October. So this is the site that you really want to follow. Follow him on Twitter. I'll link all that stuff down below. But I'm on the Patreon right now. And uh, let me just read this from the top, but we'll just do that. Our friends at Lionsgate Home Entertainment are developing a new line of 4K Ultra HD catalog steelbooks, and they like your opinion. So that's interesting. They're saying that they're, I guess, maybe only doing 4K Ultra HD steelbooks, maybe not Blu-ray, because Lionsgate's kind of been doing both pretty consistently, I feel like, with the Vestron Video Line steelbooks coming back and everything, and all the Walmart exclusives. But um, they're saying they're just focusing on 4K Ultra HD catalog steelbooks. These are titles that have been released previously, which is important to note, guys. Most as Best Buy exclusives, but this new line wouldn't replace the existing steelbooks. Instead, they would be variant cover art versions, the same way you often see comic books released with variant covers, which this is interesting. He is, and a lot of people have talked about this, how collecting movies has kind of gone the way of collecting comic books. Um, in the 90s and that how that's not a great thing because it got to the point where they were putting out so many different versions of the same comic book that collectors just said threw their hands up said I'm done I'm done collecting and then the comic book industry collapsed in the 90s um, so people have talked about that before and how that's not a good thing so interesting that he compares that uh, to the comic book boom of the 90s and then collapse of the 90s as well. And I also find it interesting that they are saying that these are not, because my initial thoughts were, do they just want to make these kind of identifiable with Walmart? Because a lot of people are seeing the Best Buy steelbooks at Walmart and they're associating that with Best Buy. Do they want to move away completely from the Best Buy image and create all new steelbooks of the same movies under the Walmart umbrella? just to kind of get away from Best Buy and to get that out of people's heads. But they're saying that they're going to still have the Best Buy exclusive steelbooks as well. These are just going to be variants. They're going to have a, a new uh, different variations on these while also re-releasing the Best Buy, the steelbooks that were released at Best Buy back in the day. I find this all to be, do you all find this to be fascinating? I do. That's why I talk about this stuff, guys. Uh, to give you an idea of the possibilities, imagine titles like Midway. He really freaking went out of his way to list the most uninteresting movies imaginable when talking about this in the article. Maybe these are the movies that Lionsgate wanted Bill to reference in this article, but like he says, imagine titles like Midway 2019. Do I have to imagine Midway? Uh, Hellboy 2019. Do I have to imagine Hellboy 2019? And The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent 2022, which I I'm not going to lie, that's, that's an okay movie. That's not a terrible movie. I didn't love it, but I do have the steelbook right here, uh, which is an awesome steelbook. This is one of the best steelbooks that Lionsgate um, has ever done. It just has all the different Nicolas Cages on it. 
and I absolutely love this steelbook right here. Uh, so here's the question. If Lionsgate were to create a new variant 4K steelbook line, would you rather each title had newly created custom artwork or instead use the film's original theatrical artwork. For example, here's what the original theatrical art for these titles I mentioned looks like, and then he shows all the posters for the movies we just talked about. Um, so this is interesting. So he wants you to vote on this on his Patreon. I imagine he's doing this on the behalf um, of Lionsgate and is going to send them the results. Um, so you have until I think April the 17th, which is next Wednesday to get on there and vote for this. Again, I will link this down below. I'll link the digital bit sites. And, and if I can, I'll link the Patreon, um, as well. So you can go check it out. So yeah, what he's basically saying is there's one of two options. You can either do the original theatrical artwork, which Sony is kind of known for doing at this point. Like when they release a steel book, they will put the original theatrical artwork on it most of the time, I feel like. Now, they've done different artwork for sure, like Matilda was different. Um, but a lot of times, like Fright Night, like they'll just put the original poster on the cover. And I think that there is a growing movement in the collector community that they do like more minimalistic, simple uh, steelbooks just with the original theatrical poster on it, like the Vacation Steelbook that came out last year was a really good example of that. So I do think there's a growing want in the collector community to get that theatrical poster on the steelbook. I do think the collectors do like that. So it's not totally off base to imagine that people, a large amount of people, would want the original theatrical poster. But I still believe that if the choice between the original theatrical poster and new artwork is at play here, I feel like most people are going to choose the new artwork. I think that most people just want new, fresh things and cool things to add to their collection, whether or not you could be taking a gamble here because who's to say that that new artwork um, is going to be worth the crap? Because a lot of the times, guys, if we've seen, if we've seen with Warner Brothers, not a lot with Lionsgate, usually they, they do a great job with their artwork. So I, I trust them, but... Sometimes it might not be the artwork that you want. So maybe you'll want to go with the artwork that you know, the original theatrical poster. Basically, you're voting on something that you know versus the unknown. Um, so if you want to take that risk, you would vote for the unknown. But I think that most people, they want the new artwork. Like that's the cool thing about collecting, right? Like we want that different artwork. We like the spontaneity of it all with collecting. So I think that most people are going to want that newly uh, commissioned artwork. Now, another thing that I find interesting here is they're saying, are, are they saying essentially that these are going to be new steelbooks with no slipcover? They're not saying that. But if you're doing the original theatrical poster, I don't imagine that you're going to put a slipcover over top of that. So does that mean that when they do the other ones, um, the newly commissioned artwork, if, they, if people vote for that, are those going to come without slipcovers? Is Lionsgate trying to get out of the slipcover game when it comes to the steelbooks? That's something interesting to note um, as well. But let me go ahead and, and read the rest of this article. Now it's time for you to weigh in. Make your choice below and please invite your fellow 4K Ultra HD and Steelbook enthusiasts. I'm inviting you guys. I read that I'm inviting you guys uh, right now with this video to weigh in too. You're also more than welcome to explain your choice in the comments below, which several people did, but I'm not going to get into the comment section. Uh, this poll will be open for one week until Wednesday, April 17th. The post will remain public so that as many people uh, can participate as possible. Please note that if you like this kind of studio poll, we ask that you consider joining our Patreon page. So Bill's promoting the Patreon and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, this is, uh, I, I find this interesting. I'm not going to lie, but there is a negative to this for sure that I that I know that a lot of people are going to call out in the comments section. And that's the fact that Lionsgate still has a lot of movies in their catalog that they haven't released cool steelbooks for. So why are they trying to recycle all of the same movies again? Um, and why are they trying to make us buy all the same releases again? Like that that's the issue that I think a lot of people are going to have. And I think a lot of people are getting fed up with that kind of stuff, if I'm being honest. Now, there are people that they just love collecting and they would love all the options available to them. And I understand that. And at times I have been like that as well. And depending on the movie, I would want different variations for, for these steelbooks. But I, I can tell you right now, I've got a lot of the Lionsgate steelbooks. If they do another Dirty Dancing 4K steelbook with different artwork, I'm not going to get it because I, in my mind, I have the best uh, version of the Dirty Dancing 4K Steelbook. It has great artwork. I love it and I wouldn't change it. So why would I get another Steelbook with the same artwork? 
Um, now I get this gives people that didn't get a chance to get that the opportunity to get it again um, you know, with different artwork, but the thing and, and also have the choice, but what they're saying is they're going to still be doing the older ones as well. And maybe they're not doing Dirty Dancing, but they're still going to be doing the older ones and they're still going to be doing the newer ones. So they're just offering you more choices. And they're and to me, guys, I don't want to just I don't I just want to throw this out there willy nilly. But to me, because I don't know Lionsgate's motivations, but to me, it feels like and I feel like it'll feel like to most people. They're preying on the collector. They're preying on the collector. They know the collector's market is in full effect right now. It's in full swing. Like the people that are buying this stuff are the hardcore collectors. They're the types that want to buy those different variants. They're the types that want to get all the boutique stuff, all the cool stuff, all the cool swag. The types that are interested in the packaging. They know this and because they know this, they're preying on the collector. Um, that's what I feel like. Whether or not they're doing that or not, again, I don't know their motivations. That just what That's just what it seems like to me. Um, but what do you all feel about that? That's the main reason why I wanted to talk about this um, today. And yeah, are, are we not getting the slips anymore? That's that's also a question I have as well, because if they're doing the theatrical poster artwork, then we're probably not going to get the slip on that. So does that mean we're not getting the slip on the new artwork as well? So yeah, guys, I know it feels like I've been a little bit more negative on Lionsgate recently. You know, they had their prices go up when they shifted to Walmart. It just feels like to me... Um, you know, Lionsgate has lost their way a little bit. Do you all feel the same way as well? Like I, I, I remember back four or five years ago or, or not even that long ago, like two or three years ago where you could go to Best Buy and get a cool Lionsgate steelbook. This one was more expensive because it was a new, it was a new movie, but you could get a cool Lionsgate steelbook for 20 bucks with great artwork, a slip cover, a 4k transfer. That was great. Special features. And it was just like it was the every it was the every man's release. It was the common man. It was the blue collar uh, steel book release. It was for the guys that didn't want to break the bank to get a cool new steel book in their collection. They didn't have to pay forty dollars to get the Black Panther four K steel book when they could pay twenty dollars to get the really cool Apocalypse Now steel book that had better artwork than all the Disney and and Sony and stuff that they were peddling out. So I don't know, guys. It feels like to me. With this announcement, that Lionsgate has kind of lost their footing and they've lost their way a little bit and they've lost what was great about them to begin with. Because if they put all these steel books out, you know, re release steel books and they charge $35 for them, they're making people rebuy the same movie for almost twice as much money as they bought before. Or maybe they're buying it for the first time for more. I just, I think it's sad because we could always depend on Lionsgate to give us the cheap, affordable steelbooks. And I get it, guys. People said it in my last video when I talked about the Lionsgate steelbooks. Inflation, all that stuff. I get it. I know we're feeling it everywhere, but it just feels like Lionsgate in particular is really just taking off with it. Like they're just pumping their prices up like no other. And uh, it makes me sad because I've always loved Lionsgate and I've always loved what they've done uh, for physical media and the collecting community. And look, guys, at the end of the day, like, should we just shut up and, and take it for what it is? It's more physical media. So that's a good thing, right? We're getting more physical media options and releases. And that's all that when it, when it comes to when it's that versus no physical media, when it's that versus physical media is dead and we're not getting anything, I would choose that all day long, you know, but I operate in this space and I talk about this stuff and I have opinions on this stuff. So that is why I make videos like this. It's not to bash on Lionsgate. I love Lionsgate. They've done so much great work. Uh, for the collector community. I just, I, when they do something like this, I just, I don't see the points. I just don't feel like it's completely necessary. I would rather them focus their energy on bringing us new titles to 4k and new steelbooks of movies they haven't done yet to enjoy. But what do you guys think about this? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. Also subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already liked this video, turn on those bell notifications for all future videos. And uh, follow me on my social media accounts down below. I'm on Twitter and X, and and uh, that's the same thing, right? Letterbox, uh, TikTok, uh, Instagram, all those links are down below in the description, and we'll see you next time.